Okay. Um, so all of this, however, is for naught without our friends from Cisco. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to pass it over to you, Ed, and you can talk about what we're working with together, all three of us. Thank you. So before I, talk, I start talking specifically to the points on the slide, let me just make a couple of comments about what is effectively the, the most important trend in the industry today, which is virtualization. Obviously, in one, you know, this has not started overnight. If you actually go back to the first VM world, and for those of you who've been there since then, what you have is constant growth and increase in terms of the attendance and then the, the number of people that are paying attention. And with this growth in the deployment of virtualization come, come a couple of interesting elements and side effects. One is customers start to take notice. Things become more and more strategic. Other vendors in industry start to take notice. And then eventually CIOs start to take notice. And today, I don't know if there's a CIO in the room or there may hopefully many CIOs in the room, is pretty much every CIO in a large company has virtualization as their number one IT strategy. And are in the process of executing on a virtualization strategy. With that being said, let me go back in time. I sort of landed into the networking industry in 2005, where we identified that virtualization in the data center was gonna be a fundamentally important use case and try to work out what it would mean. And obviously one of the things to keep in mind when you are in the networking industry is things take a lot of time to develop. But we started in 2005 thinking about virtualization, thinking about how to design products for virtualization. And what we have today, if you look at the announcements that Cisco made yesterday, is a broad set of products that are effectively about creating a new class of products in which the virtual machine is the, no, the new building block for the data center. But actually back in 2005, we identified three things that we thought were fundamental to work on over the, the duration of, this, of these projects. The first one was unifying the data center fabric. The second trend that we identified was obviously virtualization and trying to build a new class of solutions that were designed for virtualization. And the third observation that we made is that we need to work better with each other across silos. Lots of innovation happening within a particular technology stack and while ignoring the, the innovations and the changes in the other technology stack. Virtualization is one of the examples. It's about having a new class of network products that is aware of server virtualization. But the same could be true about the relationship between the storage subsystem and the network sub subsystem, or between the storage subsystem and the server subsystem. And that brings us to where we are from a unified fabric perspective today. If you look at the back of a server that follows the VMware back best practices, and if you use the current one gigabit technologies, you have at least two NICs for the VM traffic. And what you actually realize today, and certainly tomorrow, when you get to the bigger core systems, is that that's not gonna be enough for most of your VMs. Simply the amount of consolidation you can put onto a single server today means that you need to increase your server footprint. And it's common for customers today to have four or six NICs just for the VM traffic, and then you bundle them together for aggregate bandwidth. And then on top of that, you've got all the ports that you need for your infrastructure traffic, the vMotion traffic, which you wanna have isolated, and then the storage traffic. And if the storage traffic is using fiber channel, then it's even a different class of devices. So you end up with a cabling problem. And unified IO is about consolidating all of the service connectivity into the ideal number of wires leaving that server. And the ideal number is two. One is not enough, because obviously if it fails, you've lost everything. Two is ideal. And that's precisely what we have with our, with our, our product lines. The Nexus 5020 is a Cisco topper rack switch that delivers this unified fabric on the wire between the server and the top of rack switch, and then allows to split into your existing LAN products and your existing SAN products. So you don't have to change your networking best practices to deploy the product. It still looks like a LAN, an extension of a LAN, using 10 gigabit ethernet technology. And you also don't have to change your fiber channel and your storage practices because each Nexus 5000 switch is effectively an extension of an existing fiber channel SAN. You just, rather than using fiber channel link technology on the last wire, you effectively use 10 gigabit ethernet technologies on the last wire. And the great thing about the solution today is that it's available with a broad set of ecosystem partners. When we've been working with converged network adapter vendors, Dlogic and Amulex and others, and we've been working with VMware to get the full solution certified. I think this is actually on the next slide. Where as of Monday this week, uh, with ESX 3.5 version update, update 2, uh, with convergent network adapters from Qlogic and Emulex, you can actually get a complete certified solution that takes advantage of this unified fabric. So it's about doing more virtually 
more I.O. throughput, networking throughput to your VMs, more VMs density because you've eliminated the I.O. bottleneck, and at the same time with a much simpler infrastructure. And then we've been working very closely with EMC on this, uh, and we expect certification to be complete by October. This is not all. The thing to keep in mind is Cisco has obviously a lot more than, than the Nexus 5000 in its product line. As a matter of fact, all of these diagrams are represent, representative of Cisco products, and we've been innovating throughout these Cisco product lines in the context of storage technologies and virtualization technologies. Yesterday, you learned about the VNLink technology with the Nexus 1000, which shares the same operating system as the Nexus 5000. Uh, we also announced yesterday a number of improvements around our fiber channel MDX class product the support for 8 gigabit fiber channel, and then the enhanced support for NPIV, which brings you virtual machine level awareness into the fiber channel stand. Thank you. Great.